The community first met Prosper Uchitel through pictures after police say her husband tortured her for days. But now, in a story you'll only see on 11 Alive, she's sitting down in person to talk with our Rebecca Lindstrom about the pain she endured and how she hopes now to try to provide strength for others. To those on the outside, they look like a young couple in love, a new marriage, a new baby, a new life. We just look really happy. But by the time Ari was born, his father, Aaron Uchitel, had already been ordered to anger management classes. His mother, Prosper, embarrassed by the fights and ongoing verbal abuse, had withdrawn from family and friends. He would bring me down and then pick me up and then bring me down and then pick me up until I was just down. But Prosper never imagined days after their son was born, she would be hours away from death. Due to the pending court case, Prosper can't talk about what happened inside this house last June, but the pictures speak for themselves. And I can feel his teeth marks on the inside of my mouth from where he tried to bite my lip off. You still feel that? I still feel it, yeah. I still feel it. In the hospital, Prosper wanted one thing, to see her baby boy. I couldn't really see very well and the light would just blind me. This video of their reunion captivated the community. There was no audio, but you didn't need it. And he just nestled into me and it just felt really good. Stay strong. Prosper says since her rescue, she has received nothing but love. Just keep your head up to the clouds and know that you are worthy. She has received letters from other survivors and even women debating whether to leave their own abusive relationship. To them, she has one message. Seek help. Seek help. <laughs> Prosper wants not only her story, but the donations given in her name to be a part of that help. On her birthday, she was handed a set of keys to a storage unit filled with clothes, baby and household supplies, items she now is using to start her own charity. We're working on the logo. We're working on figuring out the name. As she looks forward, the court case pulls her back. Sometimes I'll wake up and still and I'll have to look in the mirror and see if I'm okay. Or I'll have a dream about him and then I'll wake up crying because he's not there, like in the way that I want him to be there for me. She has been called several times to testify, but the hearings keep getting postponed. She has yet to see her husband since his arrest two months ago. Are you concerned? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know how I'm going to react. I've had a dream where I passed out when I was walking up to the stand. I could be talking to you like I'm talking to you right now, or I could break down. I don't know what, what will happen. But she does know the fear and confusion that kept her inside this home has been replaced <laughs> with strength to fight. I saw my baby. To raise their child and to fill her life with prosperity. Aaron Uchitel remains in jail, charged with aggravated battery and rape. Prosper wants victims of domestic violence to know they are not alone and that there is help. We've listed several resources on our website. Back to you.